Well, are you uh, space uh, space sims? Are you uh, uh, flight simmers out there? Commander Kingfish here, and I am starting a new series. I am going to do a series of uh, Air Hauler Two, uh, which will start a brand new company and will slowly build that company up to where it uh, is a uh, uh, cargo carrying. Uh, company across the United States and uh, that's kind of the goal is to build it up so it's across the United States and into Alaska so first things that we have to do is create a new company and so the new company uh, we do that like this let's click new company and then it's going to be Microsoft Flight Simulator this is all set uh, so next we need a company name is which is going to be C K F uh, Expeditors. Spell that right, Expeditors. Uh, pilot handle will be Commander Kingfish, of course. Oop, got a capital I in there. We can't have that. There we go, and just my name is Kingfish. Okay, so we've got that set. And of course, I forgot to set my timer here. Let me get it going. Uh, start. All right. Next is we have our choices of difficulties. We can do a uh, real easy which starts at a million sixty reputation and and you start with a Cessna citation CJ four so you could start with that and sell this immediately uh, and reap the rewards and then be able to put that into an additional fleet now I like to start on hard I actually have been starting on career a lot but that's just a lot of grind going up uh, used to be that you had to start with a uh, uh, C-152, and boy, that really was a grind. So at least we get to start with the 172. So we're going to go with hard. So let's click next, and we need to choose our airport. Uh, I am going to go with uh, KCLS. That's Chehalis Centralia. I'm actually familiar with that. Uh, and so let's use selected. And there it is. The elevation is 173 feet. Uh, location, landing fees. Of course, that's where our base is. So we end up with a considerable discount on the landing fees. Uh, it's got uh, uh, one runway, uh, 16 and 34. And it's just a hair under 5,000 foot length. And it's basically asphalt. Uh, and so, And it has lights so you can land at night. So let's choose, let's go next. Uh, this is how you want the job creations. Uh, the job volume is about, well, let's knock it down just a notch. And we can always change that later. Uh, we want our distances to be a little less. The size of the job, uh, we knock those down just a little bit. Uh, internal jobs are in an airport size. Let's bump that up at least one notch so we get some larger airports all right next and that's it we're ready to go we can click finish and open our company all right please wait while loading generating the job and there we go we've ranked up uh we are a wannabe now as you can see uh great humanitarian aids so one of the things that we have to do, and that's what I wanted to do today, is uh, get the flight rating taken. So let's go ahead and do that now, uh, which means we will take a short flight. Uh, and so let's go ahead and do that. We'll click yes. Uh, it's the C-172, and it's going to cost us uh, $329. And so what we'll do is we'll click okay pay and take the test flight 
uh, our we currently have uh, on board 337 pounds of fuel so we don't need to change any fuel we're not going to be loading any uh, uh, luggage or cargo or anything like that right now so we can uh, uh, what I want to do now is uh, well I'll click OK and then uh, this incessant beep so I'm gonna go ahead and click OK right now so that we don't have to listen to the beep and now it's going to show us when it's ready so it's connected so now I need to get into the aircraft and get started so I will see you over in the flight sim as we get the uh, test flight ready to go okay I am over here in the flight sim and so we need to open up the world map and we have our uh, already here at uh, Chehala Centralia Airport and let's so but we will go ahead and do this let's grab that and it uh, gives us the flight time hopefully uh, I actually want to take off from the other direction I just like that better we'll go 16 okay and so that's all we really need to do uh, here uh, we should be set up for our flight conditions uh, 12 noon that's good uh, we've got uh, clear skies so let's uh, close this is 12 noon our flight condition so let's fly and so got a little bit of a loading screen here that uh, will get us to the uh, airport and into the cockpit of the plane uh, the other thing I need to do Kilo Charlie Lima Sierra traffic Cessna Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra Alpha yep. taking off runway 16 departing straight out okay let's click ready uh, I need to open up objectives okay so our objectives will be right here on what we need to do for this and it should tell us uh, as we're getting ready to take off All right I'm just uh, let me get my joystick I should have had it up here already okay and what we need to do uh, this flight I don't do any so we don't have a nav. Oop. Uh, I want that open. But I want to close this. I want to get this out of our way. All right. So we should be able to. Let me see. Let me check one more thing here. That's objectives. Uh, travel to. Uh, is that. Oh, that's my map. Uh, flight is a no, no. I thought there was a D board, but that hopefully that's what our objectives are going to tell us. I also, I think, uh, in flight messages, I'll get to see that uh, over here. Okay, so we can uh, we can see everything here. So uh, let's uh, do the run up. And then we can release the parking brake and taxi and take off. All right, so we should be uh, rolling along here pretty smoothly. Let me get to, all right, let's lift off. Okay. Okay, and we've managed to take off. Now we, uh, okay. So our objectives are popping up over on the other side. It should tell us that we need to climb to 35, uh, 3,500 feet. 
So if we, uh, let me shift hands here a little bit. We need to be able to read this. Okay. Uh, so we need to climb to 3,500 feet. So we will do that. And once I get up to 3,500 feet, I'll uh, catch back up with you all. It's just going to take a little bit to get up there. All right, we're at 3,200 feet and closing in on 3,500 feet. We should be there in just a little bit. You can kind of see that uh, uh, coming up on the... Uh, uh, glass uh, Garmin there uh, 33, 34 and we're about to 3,500 feet and so we're going to need to level off alright so we need to do it turning to 091 so let's uh while we're trying to maintain 3,500 feet. So let's roll this around to uh, 091. And we should slow this down just a little bit. We need to maintain 3,500. As we're starting to come around. There we go. Turn heading to 337. Okay, and level out at 3,200 feet. And we're swinging back around. And we need to level out at 3,200. So we could start coming around. as we are all right we're at uh, 190 we're at 200 and we're at 3400 foot elevation we're just about to 33 as we're still coming around to 256, we needed two, 337. And we're almost to 3,200 foot. And we're at 3,200. And we need to get to 337. Oh. All right. Okay, turn heading to 014 and level out at 3,300 feet. So it's back up to 3,300 feet. And let's just keep coming right on around. And we need to climb a little bit. Oop, I went a little too far. Let's swing back around. Fourteen. There we go. Fourteen. Fifteen, fourteen. Let's get to 3,300. almost there there we go land at uh, departure airport with an okay landing or better so we should be able just to kind of start swinging around the airport should be to our uh, left there's the airport right there so we can start let's put a flap down
And let's see if we can get landed without uh, causing too much of a problem. So we need to lose some elevation here. Like I said, that's at 172 feet elevation. So we've got to get down quite a little bit, but we should be in pretty good shape here. Okay, coming around. One thing I like about this airport is it's got pretty decent lights. So we should be able to get lined up here and pick up our lights. They should be off to the uh, right as we're coming in. And all right, let's start kind of getting leveled off here. Little bit of throttle, about half throttle. Those lights are real hard to pick up, but I think we're on pretty good glide path. I've flown in and out of this in the sim a lot, so I'm reasonably familiar. Now it should start calling out the uh, elevations. up follow guidelines 500. Uh, there we go okay, we are on a pretty good approach cut the Minimums. throttle should be hitting just about right Just stay on the center line now. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. There we go. Reduce speed to 15 knots and exit the runway. Okay, well, we've got to come to, to the end down here and then we can exit. So we're going to taxi to parking, which the exit ramp is right down here, or taxiway anyway. Uh, that's one of the things coming in from this direction. You've got a long ways. If you don't set down real short, then you got a ways to go. There's no other uh taxiways between where you land and where you, the runway is all right there we go okay we can uh, take this on around and so let's uh taxi to parking And then we can end the flight. And then we'll get back over and do air hauler two. So. We 
You can uh, park right up here by the buildings. I know I'm taxing a little fast. But we want to get up here and uh, get parked. And we can park at this building right here. Okay. There we go. We're parked. Set the brake. Uh, shut down, which is cut throttle. And as you can see, we've passed the flight test. Everything was good. All right. Uh, let's turn this off, turn this off, turn this off, turn this off. Stop that. And there we go. Okay. I will... Uh, now that we're here and stopped, we can go and uh, hop back into uh, Air Hauler 2. And so I'll see you over in Air Hauler 2. Okay, I am back here in Air Hauler 2. As you can see, uh, we're still connected. Uh, we uh, managed to achieve all of the uh, objectives. And so we are rated now that we can, we'll be able to take cargo flights. So let's finish flight monitoring, see the results. Uh, we didn't exceed anything. Uh, everything was good. We had a nice smooth landing. And so we can click finish flight monitoring. And so that takes us back into here. So just a little bit about what we have coming up now. So uh, if we go to our... Uh, let me see, company information. Uh, if we go to our fleet, we will see that we have our Cessna Skyhawk, and this is where all of our uh, planes that we acquire will end up showing. Uh, and then uh, we don't have any pilots hired at this point. We don't have any bases, and we don't have any airports or, or additional bases. We ha Actually, it should show our one base here in uh, Chehala Centralia. So that's, that's our one base. And so this is where all of your information. So we have commodity storage. We can store fuel and we can always add capacity. So if we have to unload uh, a certain amount of uh, fuel, then we can store it here. If you're at another airport and you have to unload fuel, then that just gets disposed of. So, uh, so there's that. Uh, what else can we look at here? Uh, our company info. This is a, where our reputation is, and we're starting at 40. Uh, we won't build anything until uh, we actually start delivering cargo. Uh, so that's just our starting. And so uh, let's go to... Uh, our ledger, and this is where it shows our, how much we've uh, paid out. And then, uh, let's see, we should have our finances. And then this is our finance, and you'll have graphs and stuff here. So uh, our overhead is, which is for our base, our base is, let's see, uh, our base costs us 13473 a month, which it may sound a little expensive, but you can make that up in two or three trips to have your base paid for. Uh, so if we come back over here, where are we at? Company finances. So that's that. Uh, the one thing that we did spend was uh, for the flight uh, uh, type uh, flight test. Uh the other thing that we can do eventually is uh, add uh, some personal touches and stuff like that. So now if we hop over into our cargo jobs, uh, we can uh, have an overview map. And this will show all the uh, jobs that are available. Uh, we have like this one here. Uh, it's going down to Oregon. That's flowers. Uh, if we come down here, we can look at 
So that's a small uh, runway. I would probably try to avoid that because it does make it a little tight. Uh, I have plans for these shorter runways in uh, at, at a certain point, I'm going to purchase another plane, a small plane, and then put a pilot in that, and then they can just run into those short fields. So let's see. We've got uh, like this one here. Uh, that is a – that's Lind. Now, see, that's a pretty good one. We've got a day and eight hours, uh, and it uh, job fee, so – we can just about uh, be able to load that up. And so I think that might be the next one. Matter of fact, I am going to go ahead and accept that job. Now, the thing you got to remember is uh, this one day, eight hours, that's real time. So even when you're not in the game, uh, time's ticking. So you, you don't want to accept jobs and then get out of the game and then forget about it. You'll end up... Uh, uh, losing uh, reputation and stuff like that. But we're going to uh, fly this uh, in our next uh, episode. So we'll go ahead and accept that job now. Uh, we do want to accept that. Yes. Uh, and so now we have that job. That's going out. We'll load up from here. And let's see. Uh, uh where am I going? Uh, cargo jobs. So we want to see. So if we come over, this is where your accepted jobs are listed. And you can see we've got this one job. And uh, when we're ready to fly it, then we would click fly now. But we're not going to do that today. We're going to do that uh, uh, in another, another episode. Okay. Uh, actually, where is that at? That's Lind. That should be heading south. Oh, no, that's over. Oh, we got to go over the mountains. Well, that's going to be an interesting flight. Okay. Well, I think that's about it. I'll be talking more about all of this as, we, as I carry along. Uh, but uh, that is our first day in Air Hauler 2. Uh, it is a... I have a lot of fun playing it because it gives you something more to do than just flying. Uh, you really actually have some uh, objectives that you uh, can do and you're kind of building something and, and it's just a lot of fun playing. So, Well, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up on the video. It really helps the video out a lot. And please subscribe. That really helps the channel. Uh, ring that bell because I'm always putting up new content. And again, this is a new series, so uh, check back in and follow it. Uh, so uh, all you uh, sim pilots out there, keep flying away and uh, have those smooth landings. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone.